What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Oh, boy. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, making his debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! Oh, man. We have the incomparable guitar virtuoso. Ingve Malmsteen. Yes, indeed. How about that? Ingve Malmsteen making his debut on the channel. And hello, everyone. I'm amazing. Check me out. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video is done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. If I played that any faster, your minds would blow up because I'm so amazing. I'm the best. This comes as a request from Harlan Pierce and Diablo. They both want to see me react to this song by Ingve Malmsteen called Black Star. I am your new god, little boys. I'm just amazing. Check this. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hang on, I think I've heard this before. I'll let you know. I'm your new god. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do have a note here in the request. Uh, one of the requesters, I'm not going to say which one, but one of the requesters has asked for no pausing. So I will not be pausing during the course of this reaction. So I, I explained that to the requester that asked for it, and the requester understands. But uh, the re that uh, when you do no pausing, there's a higher chance of the video getting blocked. And I explained that, the requester understands, the requester is still asked for no pausing, so no pausing during this, okay. I actually taught God how to play guitar. This was posted by ADJ Toby, all right? And the video has 6.5 million views, it'll get you there. I'm the fastest in the world, I beat everyone. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Infay Monstein live. Oh, live. It's even better. Uh, HD Black Star. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's about what I was expecting. <laughs> ah, good old Ingve. Okay. Um. Boy, oh boy. Anyway, uh, okay. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Ingve Momsen with a live performance of Black Star. This was a request from Harlan Pierce and Diablo. Okay. Um, and there's so much I want to say, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it, because in all honesty, a lot of it is just personal opinion and personal bias and I, I just I really don't want to get into that on the channel so I'm just going to keep it to the song and leave it at that um let's start with the score on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm going to give that a 9.2 yep 9.2 you heard me I didn't stutter that is the score I feel this song deserves let me tell you why. Why? Okay, look. Was it impressive? Yeah, it was definitely impressive. It, everything, look, everything he was playing for the most part was was impressive. Okay, it was. Listen, Ingve Malmsteen is one of those guitar virtuosos that you know has been able to combine classically themed music into uh, guitar virtuoso style. So I mean. You, you gotta give him credit for that, okay? You absolutely do. On top of it, the guy's a phenomenal player. He absolutely is, okay? And I will give him all the credit in the world for being the phenomenal player that he is and having the amount of talent and the amount of ability that he has, okay? I will absolutely give credit where credit is due. Is he one of my favorite guitar players? No, he is not. Uh, I, I give him all the credit in the world, but at the same time, I also personally, I, I know I said I wasn't gonna let personal feelings come into this, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant here. I do feel at times, and when I say at times, that's you know quite a bit of an understatement. He is so focused on technique and talent and ability and all this other stuff that I hate to say it, he almost becomes a walking, talking, living, breathing with a pulse joke uh, of a guitar player. He's often looked at in the guitar playing world as a guy who, number one, takes himself way too seriously. Number two, um, has a bit of an ego and is the ego warranted i suppose it is i i, I do suppose he, a lot of people could say that you know he, he he he's that good of a, a player he can do whatever he wants well yeah sure within reason you know um you know would i put him in you know top five favorite guitar players no never in a million years top 10 it's still probably not maybe top 20 i might put him in for me personally um yeah you know, but like i said he's a very talented guy very very capable guitar player and it showed in this performance it absolutely showed um i'm gonna be honest with you folks this is, this is gonna sound really weird coming from me I've always preferred Ingve's acoustic playing to his electric playing. And I know that sounds really weird coming out of my mouth, but it's true. I, I mean, I, I've heard a number of his acoustic compositions, a number of his acoustic songs, and I've really dug them. I've really dug them, whether they've been introductions to what would later be an electric song like, like this was done, or whether the entire song is done acoustically. I've really had a, a much deeper appreciation for his acoustic playing than I do his electric playing. Don't get me wrong, his electric playing is impressive, it is, but the way he plays an acoustic, his approach to acoustic playing is just really, really cool. Um, he, <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird, he, he kind of approaches his acoustic playing like an electric, like a combination of playing an electric guitar and playing a piano. Um, a lot of lift, a lot of ghost noting, a lot of, um, a lot of stride uh, when, it, when it comes to his playing. A lot of octave stride stuff. And it works out really well. It, it really does for him. And it gives him kind of that unique sound uh, from a acoustic playing standpoint. It definitely works for him. 
I dig it. I absolutely dig it. I like the fact that he uses harmonics. Um, when he's doing his acoustic playing, he uses harmonics quite frequently, but he doesn't do it just for the sake of showing off or for the sake of like, like a lot of guitar players do, like, you know, hitting a harmonic and making it sustain and hitting the tremolo and, you know, making it, ma making it shake and stuff like that. He instead will take a harmonic and use it as a part, use it as a part of a chord. And uh, I really, uh, I really dig that about him. I really, really do. Um, but the acoustic piece at the beginning, the first like four, four and a half minutes, I really dug. I thought that was, I think, to be honest with you, it was my favorite part of the entire performance was the acoustic playing. When it did switch into the electric playing, the energy level did kick up. Yes, that is true. Um, and it was a smooth transition from the acoustic to the electric, so no complaints there. Um, when he was doing his harmonized solos, his harmonizer, I'm curious, does anybody know for sure? I suspect it's an Eventide. I, I could be wrong, but it sounds like an Eventide. It's very accurate. It's very clean. So that's my suspicion. It's, it's an Eventide harmonizer. Um, really nice use of it and not overly used either. Uh, it was nice to see him not taking himself so serious in this and having some fun. You know, laying the, laying the keyboard player, hold the guitar while he, you know, did a little showmanship thing and then ran over to the keyboard player and, you know, did the tapping and stuff on the on the neck. I mean, that was, it was cool. It was a moment of levity. It really was. And it was kind of nice to see that moment where he wasn't taking himself so seriously. So that was nice. And he still pulled it off really well, super clean. Look, the guy's a phenomenal guitar player. I am not trying to take anything away from him, okay? He is what he is, and he is a phenomenal guitarist, both on electric and especially on acoustic, in my opinion. I think his acoustic playing is, you know, far more impressive um, than his, his guitar play, his electric guitar playing. I mean, when it comes to electric guitar, look, you got guys like Steve Vai out there, you got Gary Hoy, you got Satriani, you got, you got uh, Saracino. I mean, you, you got all these other guitar players who all play electric guitars just as well and in some cases, even better than Ingve. So, am I gonna stand here and say that he's the king of guitar players? No, I don't think he is. I know there are people out there who do, and look, they're certainly entitled to their opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine. But nonetheless, this was impressive. It, it absolutely was. Um, it was fun to listen to. It was fun to watch. It absolutely was. So, that's why we're getting at the 9.2. I feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So 9.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.